What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Media. So, this is a question I got from one of my subscribers, and that is, um, how do I think Larry Bird and Bernard King would do in today's NBA? I honestly, I don't know. We don't really know. We can kind of speculate, but we don't really know how they would do. Um, I believe that it's easier to score in today's NBA than ever before. Um, so, I tend to believe that after a trial and error period in today's league, meaning like a couple of seasons being accustomed to playing the NBA, I think both of these guys would be not just all-star level players, but in Bird's case especially, I think that he would be a superstar level player who could potentially win multiple MVPs. So, that's how I look at it, man. I guess if I had to compare Bernard King to any current player, maybe like a mix between... Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant but um, take away the range and take away some of the defensive ability especially with Kawhi Leonard uh, he, you know that was not Bernard King's forte defense rebounding facilitating that wasn't his forte um, his forte was scoring the basketball. And he could score the basketball in that era from anywhere from near the basket all the way up to 19, 20 feet. It was not much of a three-point shooter, but the three-point shot wasn't really used in the NBA during most, most of his prime, especially the first half of the 80s. Now, if he's playing today, I think that Bernard King would be a better three-point shooter. I don't think he'd be great, but I think he would be eh, marginally better than Giannis. I think he'd be like a 33% three-point shooter. Um, I don't think he had quite the touch of a James Harden. A lot of it, you can kind of tell a lot of how good a guy is as far as shooting. It's not always indicated in this, but you get a goody, a pretty good judge of how good a shooter a guy is from his free throw percentage over time. And uh, that's definitely part of it. Now as far as Larry Bird on the other hand, you know, I don't know. Um, it's nobody I really could compare him to. Like I guess you, I guess you could compare him to Luca, but he's bigger than Luca. Um, he's really Larry Bird. Really is a powerful. He really is. <laughs> I mean, you know, even though he's listed as a small forward, essentially the Boston Celtics had two power forwards: Kevin McHale after '85 and Larry Bird. Whereas before, they sort of had two small forwards with Larry Bird and uh, Cedric Maxwell, with Maxwell playing power forward. But there were times during the, during the uh, postseason when the matches were favorable that Bird would play power forward. And those were the series where he would get like, he would average like 26 and 13 or 21 and 15, you know. Uh, he really was a power forward. So this is my thing. Um, we have this positionless basketball now. So I'm thinking that this is Bernard King before the knee injuries. He's explosive. He can't be stopped at open court. Uh, when he gets his momentum, he's sort of like LeBron James. Um, you know, but the thing is, he didn't need or doesn't need, you know, defenses to to, you know, to get in foul trouble for him to stop him because he'll do that himself. But he didn't need 
help from the officials is what I'm trying to say. Um, but before the knee injury, Bernard King was a beast. Hell, afterwards, with the advanced medications, he would have been able to recover his career much faster. He would have been able to come back much quicker. He would have probably been able to play a lot longer on that reconstructed knee, a lot longer than he was able to back then. Um, you know, because when he had that surgery back then, <coughs> in 1985, that was considered like a career-ending type injury. Not so much today. But, um, like I said, I think Bernard King would be a decent three-point shooter, excellent mid-range shooter. Uh, he had one of the greatest turnaround jumpers I've ever seen in my life. Just awesome, quick release. Uh, he saw it all the way back when he was playing in college. And uh, what was it, Tennessee? When it was the, uh, what was it called? The um, the Bernie and Ernie show. And, um, I mean, as far as the, like other aspects, I don't think Bernard King, would, you know, he wasn't a great defender. He wasn't the best rebounder. Not a great facilitator. Um, so they might critique him about that and, if he's not a sports agent, you know what I'm saying? You know how that works. Uh, but as far as lighting it up, efficiency, he'd be on another level. Um, probably shooting 50, I don't know, 53, 55% from the floor, something like that. Just crazy efficiency. But that's my guess. With a Bernard Key. And as far as how many points he's going to average, I don't know. But I do know that he would be a high scoring guy. And I do think he'd be an MVP candidate. Larry Bird would be an even better fit for today's NBA. I've said this before, time and time again. Bird was a great rebounder. Bird was a great passer. Bird was a great facilitator and an awesome shooter. And now he gets the green light to shoot even more threes. So I think that he would be one of the great shooters in the league. I think that his efficiency would be crazy, and I think he'd be over 40% from downtown. And he's an awesome foul, foul shooter, 88 89%. And with the, with the technology, they probably even better. Even better. Um, man, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, like, don't want to put numbers out there. That's, that's kind of irresponsible, but... I don't know. I think he'd be a great mid-range shooter, a great three-point shooter, could score in the post, uh, could score his back to the basket, could rebound, could offensive rebound. Um, he, now, when it comes to one-on-one -on -one defense, he would not stop anybody, especially the uh, the more athletic players. But Bird, you know, would be a, a guy that would get, you know, his fair share, especially before the injuries of, you know, steals and uh, coming off and, you know, getting deflections and, uh, would help defense, you know, some some blocks and, you know, he, he would do his fair share to help the team walk, even on that side of the ball where he struggled. Bernard King, like I said, um, awesome scorer, probably 29, 30 points a night. So, you know, that's all I got to say about that, you know. Um, when you think about the, you know say when you think about the way the game is played now, so open, it's just going to be easier for these guys to score. And these guys are going to be in so so great condition, 6'7", 215, you know, they're not carrying an extra 10 pounds of Cheetos like these guys are carrying. Um... You know, they don't play as many minutes as they used to, but that's largely because of the fact the game is so um, fast-paced. But they have the ability to play that type of style. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Bernard King, the dude that scored 50 points in back-to-back -back games against Texas teams, which who notoriously play at a fast pace. So...
that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? So, for, yeah, I think these guys would be two of the best players in the NBA today. They would be dominant. Um, but the game would really, really fit Larry Bird more so than even Bernard King. Um, like I said, I think he'd be 40% plus three-point shooter, 90% from the line, 50 plus percent from the field. Um, and this, in, in today's league, he'd be listed at 6'10". 6'10", and probably 235, 240. And <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much what I think, man. Tell me what you guys think.